Welcome to the Altium Designer Tutorial Series. This is Tutorial 4, and in today's lesson, I'll show you how to create a polygon pour in Altium Designer and explain why it's a valuable part of your PCB design. Let's start with the PCB I have open. To create a polygon pour, go to the Place menu, select Polygon Pour, and then click on the board where you want to start. Draw the outline by clicking around the area, and double click to finish. You can also press tab to change the properties of the pore like you can assign net, for example ground in this case. When you finish by double clicking, the polygon will automatically fill with copper, following your design rules. In this example, the clearance is very small because my clearance rule is set that way. Let's change it and repore the polygon. Go to the Design tab and click Rules. A dialog box will open with all available rule categories. Navigate to the Clearance rule. You'll see a table where you can set the clearance values. Let's set all clearances to 0.8 mm. Now, double click on the polygon, and from the Settings panel on the left, choose the Repore option. You'll see the clearance update according to the new rule. Notice that the vias are not connected to the polygon. This is because no net is assigned to the vias. Let's select all the vias and assign them to the ground net. Then repore the polygon again. Now you can see the vias are connected with a thermal relief style. If you want, you can also change the via connection style by adjusting the settings in the rules dialog. Polygon pores are very useful in reducing electromagnetic interference, providing better grounding for high-speed circuits, and helping with thermal management in power electronics. They also improve manufacturing by reducing the amount of copper etching required, which can make your PCB more cost-effective. Adding polygon pores is a simple step, but it has a big impact on the performance and reliability of your PCB. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Altium Designer tips.